I assume we're ready. I I think so. I'm ready if you are. Hmm. Uh, in that case, let's go and uh, stop taking up space here. What can I do for you? You know, some. Mordred, where are you going? Uh, just around. Right, I was... I was just thinking it might be a good idea to find a place nearby that isn't Candle Hearth that we could all just kind of meet and stay out of the general populace because, you know, spies, if Ulfric is to be believed. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Any ideas? Part of the place, I mean? I, I don't have any. How about you, Yarnvina? Eh, I'm thinking about it. Let's get going before it gets too much later and I'll tell you if I have any ideas on the way. day in Skyrim once again. I say that, it's gonna start snowing in about five minutes. It's already kind of snowing. Suppose that's fair. Oh, that figures. I leave it to the, uh, leave it to in hell to be the first to do that. No kidding. Do either of you know if anyone lives in that big house? I've got no idea. I don't think so, but um, might be worth checking. For sale, Rauta. <laughs> 7,500 septums. Ish. Uh. Yeah, I don't have nearly that much. I, I don't think I do either. We might be able to talk to the test about it though. I wonder how much. I wonder how much she makes doing her merchant thing. Ah, uh, maybe. I don't know if I'd want to impose on her though. For all I know, for all we know, she's saving up for something. She has a house in Riften, doesn't she? I hear things. Don't give me that look. That's true. Hmm. All right, something to think about, anyway. Belfort will give us a deal since we're helping him. Hmm. I like the way you think. What is this? Oh. And the war begins again. Lovely. Yeah. Alright, quickest way to write to Whiterun is... They're both kind of... Mm. We'll go this way. We went the other way last time.
Everything is so green. I, like I said, all the snow melted and... Skyrim sprang to life. It isn't quite spring yet, but it might as well be from the looks of things. What? That's not... No, not see test. <laughs> every time, every time I find a Khajiit. Now, inter interesting. What's this about? I wonder. As instructed, you are to eliminate Kinoa al Murzim by any means necessary. We've already received full payment for the contract. Failure is not an option. Hail Seth is death to the pretender. Oh, gods. Tell me this isn't another one of those Mirak cult things. Ah. Uh, I hope not. There's an Imperial patrol down there. Hopefully they're not going to make trouble. Hey, we'll just go around them and hope for the best, I suppose. Yeah. You know, I actually have seen one of those kinds of notes before. With the Death of the Pretender thing down at the bottom. Not a clue what's going on there, but... Apparently someone's out for the lot of us. That's lovely. Pretty, but it's still so cold. <gasps> ah, I love it. Here, just being quiet, thinking our own thoughts, doing our own thing, I suppose. Trying not to panic at the thought that uh, this whole city might be under siege soon. I that's pretty much what I've been thinking too. you have a horse? I mean, technically, I suppose, but I'm not much of a rider. I either here. I was just thinking that might make getting around easier. Do you have a horse? Nope, I have a saber cat. Oh my god, it's the rumors were true. <laughs> I'd heard them. Um, I heard people down in the Riften and around the uh, Dawn Guard talking about a Red Guard riding around on a Saber Cat. <laughs> I had no idea that was you. In hindsight, I probably should have. Hey, John. Good to see you. 
Does everyone seem a little bit on edge to you? Aye, they're not talking as much as normal, doesn't seem like. That's what I thought too. Yes. One of these days I'm gonna punch that guy in the face. <laughs> Do it, he probably deserves it. I I think he deserves it plenty. You know, I don't think I've ever been up here. Oh, you're gonna love it. Probably. <sighs> here goes nothing. We don't have to do this whilst also trying to deal with dragons and whatnot. Let's just say Irolath can be a little protective. Clutch is huge in here. Hey, Irolath. Preventus. Narl Balgraf. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Um. So, uh. Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak asked me to deliver this axe to you. Did he now? Huh. The man is persistent. I'll give him that. I suppose it's time I give him an answer. Proventus, what do you make of all this? If Ulfric were to attack Whiterun. As in all things, Lord, caution. I urge us to wait and see. Pray wait. I'm of a mind with Irileth. <laughs> it's time to act. You plan to march on Windhelm? <laughs> I'm not a fool, Proventus. I mean it's time to challenge Ulfric to face me as a man. Or march his storm cloaks up to the gates. Oh, this is He'll good... do no such thing. A dagger in the back is all you could expect. He was rather straightforward with Torig. Torig? He simply walked up to the boy and murdered him. That boy was High King of Skyrim. I'm not the High King. But neither am I a boy if Ulfric wants to challenge my rule in the old way. Let him. Though I suspect he'll prefer to send his storm cloaks to do it for him. True. He's already proven his personal strength. Now he seeks to prove his armies. Then might I urge you to consider General Tullius's request? I mean, if you are bent on offending Jarl Ulfric. Ulfric is the one who has offended. But Proventus has a point. Ulfric has made it clear. In his mind, to refuse his claim is to side with the Empire. And what harm is there in letting a few legionnaires die in place of Another your... wanderer, here to lick my it father's seems boots. Cowardly. Good job. Was it cowardly, then, to accept the white gold concordant? What the kid? This again? I'm kidding. That was different. Was I given a chance to object to the terms of the treaty? No. The Jarls weren't asked. We were told. And we had to like it. The chests of gold didn't hurt. Isn't this what Damn Arden it. was talking about? This isn't about? about gold. Yep, pretty it's much. It's time to decide. Lord, wait. Let us see if Ulfric is serious. Oh, he's serious. But so am I. Finally. So about this axe. You can return this axe to our friend. The esteemed Jarl of Windhelm has my answer. Make sure he gets it. Proventus, bring me my pen. And the good parchment. Are we writing a letter, Lord? Yes, to General Talius. I need to make a few things clear before I accept these legionnaires of his. You all right, Kinoa? Ah, uh, Jarl Balgraf, please reconsider. You saved us all. We will sing of you forever. That's... Whose side are you on here? If it's the war you're referring to, I'm on the side of Whiterun. No doubt General Tullius and his friends in the Empire will tell you that I owe them my loyalty. And perhaps I do. Ulfric Stormcloak would say that I owe my allegiance to the Nord people as they fight for Skyrim's independence. Perhaps this is also true. The day might come when I am forced to draw my sword for one side or the other. 
But that day has not come yet. That day is about to, Yarvalgruff. Keep safe. Come on, Kinoa. We've got the mags to deliver. Yep. So, uh, you know your Belgrath pretty well, then? <laughs> well... Ish. As well as any random commoner knows a Jarl, I guess. Maybe a little better, I did trap a dragon in his keep. When the Empire surrendered to the old Mary Dominion, they shamed us all. Kenoa! It was you who convinced yep. a Jarl to uh. trap the dragon in the keep. And by easement, it actually worked. This is bad. This is very, very bad. You look a little bit shaken. Um, are you sure you're all right? I mean, you did, it's, he's just our, another Jarl? He is probably one of the smartest Jarls I've had the pleasure of interacting with so far. I would fight for him any day. But now it looks like we're going to be fighting against him. Well, don't speak of it too loudly and let's get back before someone takes this the wrong way. We still have to tell the cat. That too. With any luck, she's still... I'm a sailor on the is. North Wind. We're laying over in Windhelm for a while. We're probably gonna get stuck in Windhelm, considering the state of things. Oh, that is not a good look on your face. What happened? I'd be out there fighting the Imperials right now if it wasn't for my war wound. Uh, can you give us a bit of space, sir? Balgriff returned the axe. Ah, uh, uh-oh. That is, uh, that is not good. No, it... It, uh, really... Really isn't. I'm not entirely... I'm not entirely sure what happens next. Well... What happens next is probably an army goes up to the gates of Whiterun and starts banging on the door. That would be my guess as well. Alright, um... I don't actually know what call to make here. Well, allow me to make a call for you then. We need to send... The Khajiit here and the boys over to Whiterun. Have them scope out the area first, set up a camp. We'll meet them there probably tomorrow night, depending on how quickly things go. We're not gonna be able to attack them. I'm not gonna be able to attack in broad daylight because of them. So, we'll show up and aid them when we can, when it's dark out. She should be able to keep up with them, considering she can see in the dark. This is true. And since I can uh, stay out in the daylight as well, I can uh, I can meet you here or or wherever wherever we end up meeting you. So uh, yeah, um, that sounds like a plan to me. 
We'll come up with something more concrete for the actual battle when we get there, I think. A lot will depend on Galmar. You are a lot better at this commander thing than I thought you'd be. And I'm a lot worse than I thought I'd be. Yeah. I'm just winging it right at the moment. Most of this is just... Trying to be confident in the face of being terrified for my life and the lives of those in Whiterun. Yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at, too. Alright, Z. Go get the boys. We'll meet you... wherever you end up. <laughs> I will stay somewhere close to the road and then I will stay near or on the road so that I can tell you where we are at. Understood. All right. Salakari, my friends. Oh boy. I wish I had a bit more mighty Talos in my brain right at the moment. Jarl Ulfric? Soon enough we will march on Solitude. And on that day the heroes of Sovereign Guard will march with us. And the Empire will fall to its knees in fear. The Jarl of Whiterun returns your axe. Then I was wrong about him. You're right, Galmar. Again? I'm in no mood to joke. Give the word, my lord, and Whiterun is yours. Whiterun is only a means to an end. I've toured our camps. We're ready, Ulfric. Whenever you are. Is any man ever ready to give the order that will mean the deaths of many? No, but neither is every man able to give that order when he must. But you are that man, Ulfric. You've been that man before, and you'll be him again. And these men and women, they call themselves Stormcloaks because they believe in you. They are the meanest, toughest sons of bitches Skyrim has to offer. And they want this. They want this as much as you do. Perhaps they want it more. You're certain we're ready. Whiterun's army will no doubt be bolstered with legionnaires. And those walls around Whiterun are old, but they still stand. We are ready, and I might be old myself, but I'll kick those damn walls down with my bare feet, if you would only ask me to do it. Ha! <laughs> I'm sure you could do it too. All right, this is it. Yes! Send the word. A new day is dawning, and the sun rises over Whiterun. I and the sons of Skyrim will greet that dawn, teeth and swords flashing. So it begins. Make haste to our camp in Whiterun. I want you on the front lines. I have a feeling about you. Your place is on that battlefield. I need you there. A feeling about me, huh? Many will die by my hand. Then I commit them to whatever gods they still believe in. Talos be with you. This is actually happening. Mm-hmm. This is actually happening. <laughs> he has a feeling about me, he says. Well, I mean, you are the Dragonborn. You do kind of give off the feeling that... I don't know, you seem at home on a battlefield, or at least in the little the little fights that I've seen you take on on the road. Yeah, maybe I'm a little too at home on the battlefield, frankly. Don't know where else I'd be, though. Okay! We have things, we have... Oh. Uh, and Indigo is asleep. 
Yes, he doesn't exactly have the same nocturnal stamina as the rest of us do. Indeed. So what's going on exactly? Um, well, what are you doing? Trust me, you really don't want to know. That, uh, good point. Alright, everyone up, everyone come with me. Inigo, you too, and Mr. Dragonfly. What is on your mind? Come on, we've got, uh, we've got uh, zooms to do. Yes, let us go. Alright, what exactly kind of zooms are we talking about here? You've got your faces on. Interesting. Hmm? Okay, back to normal faces. Excellent, excellent. So, uh, what is going on is that uh, Jarl Balgraf returned uh, Ulfric's axe and now we're there going to march on Whiterun. Oh, great. Absolutely delightful. Exactly what I wanted to hear. I'm joking, obviously. And I suppose we're marching with them. Well, uh, kind of, but not really. What we're going to do is find a place kind of off the road somewhere uh, on the way to Whiterun. Probably outside of the, the place where they could find us and uh, camp down until probably tomorrow night so that we have plenty of time so that you two don't get burned up in the sun. Appreciated. Lead the way. Right, away! Hmm. On second thought, let us go out the other way because the other the, that way just leads to water and I don't want to get wet. Just a few more hours and I can crawl under some furs. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay. Everyone is... Uh, everyone is ready to go? I think so. Lead on, they test. Try to keep up. Oh. Okay, you're keeping up just fine. I mean, we are rather speedy. Eh, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit worried about Inigo, but eh, it's fine. It will be easier to do this on foot. No kidding. Do we keep to the roads, or... Um... Cut over land. Ah, oh, that's a good question. I'd prefer to keep to the roads, but that's because I'm an absolute coward and I don't want to run into spiders in the wilderness. You're adorable. And it's foggy. Of course it is. Can you see all right in this? Mm-hmm. I can see just fine. It's a little dark, but we have lights. Everything is good. Oh boy. I don't know if there's a way to go over land, actually. Maybe there is. Eh. Yeah. So, are you holding up all right, hon? Ah, uh, that depends on what, um... What constitutes as holding up in this particular situation? Mentally, I'm absolutely fine, if a little bit... Hang on. We are going to go this way, because I think this goes over the top of the mountain. That means fewer people will see us. Did you teach her how to pathfind like that? No, I think she got that from her days as a courier. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Still pretty useful, though. Oh, what the crap is that? Yeah, I'm not going to go look at it because, um, distractions. Where have I ended up? Oh. Ah. Uh, okay. We go this way. Oh, this is up where... Yeah. It's a keep up here. Usually full of mages, so I would recommend avoiding it. Especially since one of them seems to be rather fond of flame matronox. So that's a thing. Marazai Pond. Tends to be a vampire lair. It used to be a smuggler's den. How do you know these things? You know me, do you have to ask? Uh, hello! Oh no! What the crap was that? Um... Uh, that was... Fancy your chances, eh? Good job, Inigo. That, uh, was the voice. Don't, don't mind me. What the actual crap? What the... Did, 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 did you know that your boyfriend could shout? Um, actually, yes, I did. What the crap? You see Dragonborn too? I'm standing right here, and I can hear you quite, quite well. I am not Dragonborn. I just have a way with words. Mm. That's a little scary, though. Having a vampire who can shout? Ew, that's creepy. Oh, dragon, hello. Ah! Oop! We've gone the wrong way. We're going to have to go through that place with the keep, it looks like. Lovely. Alright, lead the way. I must say, that was, uh... That caught me just the slightest bit off guard. The shouting. It was very, very, very loud. You've not spent much time around Kinua then, have you? Because she is absolutely terrifyingly loud. Ah, uh, no, I don't think this one has ever heard her shout. Hmm. Mm. Interesting. Don't you attack us too, Mr. Fox. You know, it's a good thing we can track you by scent, because otherwise we'd be losing you in these trees right now. Mm-hmm. Which means anyone who is following us will probably get lost in these trees, no? You know, you're actually pretty sharp. Aha. Uh -huh. If I was not, I would be dead. So there's that. Okay. We are getting places. This is good. Should be a giant camp over here somewhere. I don't really... Oh, sorry. I got I got a little jumpy because you walked up on me. Sorry about that. Here we go. Oh, there you are. Jeez, dude. I am here for you. You doing all right? All set. All set. Uh, uh, did you guys get along over the while you were in the thing? Yeah, he seems an interesting fellow. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, right, I said something about the giant's camp and you said no. Well, I mean, however, we have to get across the water. Oh, okay. Um? Did I 
I hear it? Oh. Hey there. Okay. We go this way. Okay, here we have the giant's camp. And we have to be sneaky. Here we go. Okay, good. Where's Ingrath? He's behind me somewhere. There you are. He! <laughs> what a duo, fire and ice. Yeah, you're not the first one to notice. Hello, okay. Yup. Yup. Okay, 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 okay. And of course, we have to go up the switchback and around the road because otherwise, we're gonna get stuck on the waterfall and it would be bad. Keeping up, they're just being quiet. Hmm. You're traveling with two vampires and a Khajiit. And you're surprised that we're all quiet. Well, I mean, you are in heavy armor. I don't know, it, I feel like it should make more noise than it does. To be fair, it's mostly just a chest plate. And several layers of thick, you know, padded... Gambeson. Oh, great. Uh... Hold it. This here's a toll road, see? You're gonna have to hand over, say, 200 gold if you want to use our road. I don't think so, madam. You know, now that I think of it, that sounds fair. Just shove off before the others notice. That's what I thought. Did you just flash your fangs at her? I might have, yes. You know, you're pretty scary when you get going like that. I have my moments. Are you sure you want to fight in this battle? <sighs> Not really. But I mean... I don't want to be a coward either. I'm not going to be much use if I just stand around and not fight, so... If anyone were to stand around not fighting, I would assume that that person would be Kinawa since she actually has the ability to heal other people. Besides us. Well, yeah, besides us, but still. Kajita's tired. Okay, that's a wolf, not a skiver. Never mind. Hey Z. Ah. Uh -huh. Turn off the road here. There should be a path down around the corner there. Okay. And some mercenaries. Hello. Um. Oh. Now be careful when we go in here because. Oh, it smells like trolls. Exactly. Okay, prepare for trolls, Inigo. First shot, I'll charge in after you. Okay. Nice. And uh, there's another one though. Okay. Alright, I'll let you guys go get that one. Oh, sorry. Ugh. 
We actually make a pretty good team. I'm sorry about that, Inigo. You doing all right? What is on your mind? Did you get hit? Any, any, uh, or any thoughts about the trolls? I'm wondering why we have stopped. Oh, okay. Well, we've stopped because this, aside from the troll smell, will make a decent place to wait out the day. Nobody's likely to come in here because it's so far off the road. I mean, it isn't that far off the road, but I see what you mean, because nobody, unless they're a bandit, is going to think to come over here. And we all know where you get that instinct from. Yeah. Hmm. Look at these skulls. Alright. Oh! It, oh! You see what I mean? I do need. So we have bedrolls, we have a. Uh, what is in here? Nightingales, fact or fiction? They would be fact. In fact, we have two bedrolls, we have a chair, we have a cooking pot, we have a tent, kind of, but without a bedroll, and we have a pair of dead bandits. Delightful! Oh. Oh. Excuse me. I want to see what this is. It looks kind of cool, but I don't think either of us have use for it. Not really, no. Oh. Okay, well it will stay here for someone else to find then. Alright then. Harden! Give him a minute, he's probably thinking. He always gets like this. He always gets like what? Lost in his own mind. Hmm. Interesting fellow, Mr. Welk. Yeah, I thought so. You two are so cute. Ah, uh, should we poke him? Nah. Let's just set up camp here. If you and an indigo want to sleep, the two of us can take first watch. When the sun comes up, we'll wake you and you can take second watch. Look out for the girls. Ah, uh, gotcha. Alright, that sounds like a plan. Okay. Indigo? He's staying for sleep. <laughs> 